The Flint Street Nativity is one of the most iconic British films I've ever seen. Certainly the most iconic British Christmas film with an incredible cast to go with it. A slightly ludicrous narrative and some amazing comedic dialogue. I actually used to watch this every Christmas when I was younger. It was released in 1999, at which point I would have been seven. And it's directed by Marcus Mortimer and written by Tim Firth with a cast to boot. And we will look at the cast in a moment. If you've never seen this, basically, as the description from IMDb says, adult actors portray a group of children as they prepare and present their school Christmas play. So basically, this school is putting on a Christmas nativity. But all of the children are played by fully grown adult actors. So we have them doing all kinds of childish things with very juvenile behaviour. Their dialogue is obviously very immature and that's hilarious. They some absolutely hysterical lines in this. Just seeing fully grown adults coming out with things that really only like four and five year olds could get away with. We see them using the tiny toilets and sitting on tiny chairs and it's just it's hilarious how, how it works and I just think the premise is amazing and obviously I knew I liked this film because I've been watching it for the best part of 20 years. But the one thing that I was would have been worried about had I only watched it more recently for the first time is could they pull this off? It sounds funny on paper but is it just going to be gimmicky? And it is not. It has the most on point comedic dialogue ever. I'd love to get my hands on that script and fine tooth comb it because it is sensationally funny. Obviously there are a lot of visual gags as well because we have these adults doing these childish things and it is just hysterical. It's a it's my favourite take on the Christmas Nativity play that I have ever seen. And what makes it all the more pretty incredible is the cast. Because not only do we have these adult actors pretending to be children in these bizarre costumes and situations with the most hilarious dialogue. We also have some of Britain's best love actors doing that. And that just is wonderful. So I'm just going to whiz through some of the characters, some of the, the cast members, just to give you a flavour of who is in it. We've got Mark Addy, Jane Horrocks, Dervla Kerwin, Josie Lawrence, Ralph Little, Neil Morrissey, Julia Sawala, Frank Skinner, John Thompson, uh, actually there, there are not many more people listed on this, so I'll just go through them all. Philip Bosworth, Sean Carlson, Kerry Joy Stewart, Lynn Hunter, Stephen Tomkinson, and Hugh Simons, Tony Marshall. I believe I mentioned everybody. I apologies if not. But having such these great British actors doing this ludicrous narrative, it's hilarious. And if you haven't seen it, I strongly urge you to. It's one of those films that I can and have and will continue to watch time and time again because it never gets old. I try and watch it at least once every Christmas but I would happily watch this any time of the year because it's just nuts and it's great fun. It actually won an award. What award did it win? It won the BAFTA Cymru Award for Best Design which I can understand that completely. It's absolutely sensational. If you haven't seen it, I would love it if you made it the next Christmas film that you watch. I'd also be... I, I apologise if you can hear that horn outside. Um, this I live on a stupid road where people don't know how to drive. I would particularly love it if, if you watch this and you're not British. Does a lot of the humour come across? Does it kind of travel well? I think it stands the test of time. But is it something that will ever be massively successful outside of the UK? I hope so, but I'm obviously not sure. If you have seen it, I'd love to know your thoughts and your favourite scenes and your favourite characters and your favourite lines. If you haven't seen it, please do see it and, you know, drop me a tweet or a message. I would love to know what you think of this. For me, Flint Street Nativity is one of my all-time favourite Christmas films.